Yeah, hi friends, this is Jitendra. Today we are going to see the demo on the Mule uh, Mule credential vault. So basically, uh, you want to store your information sensitive data securely, like uh, username, password of the database, whatever you are storing in the properties file. That has to be, you know, like uh, stored in the encrypted form. Okay, so there can be a requirement. So we will going to see how can you store your username, password, any you know account tokens, anything, any username, okay, into the property file as a encrypted. So let's start with the demo. I will directly going with the demo. So to just uh, simply we can create a new applic mule project. New new project. I will name like secure data. I will say it finish. Okay, it has created uh, one application for me. Okay, under a source main resources, I will create one properties file new. I will say new uh, file. Uh, I will say secure test dot property. Make sure like you are giving the extension as a dot properties file. I will say finish. Okay, it's created a folder. Sorry, uh, let me create a file by mistake. I created a folder new. I have to select the file. I will say secure. I will say test dot properties. Okay, make sure you are giving the extension as a dot property. I will say it finish. Okay, once property file has been created, I simply close that property file. I right click on the properties file and say open with mule properties editor okay it will create uh, it will open some uh, new window so you have to click on the add a new property i will say username this is your key and you can give a password as like uh, sorry i will instead of username i will say password i will say test one two three and suppose if you don't want to encrypt your you know like property simply click on the ok it will going to add a password property into your properties file but if you want to store it uh, securely in the encrypted form simply click on encrypt you have to choose the algorithm in our case i will going to use the blowfish algorithm and you can give any key in my case i will give one two three four okay this key is very important and this may require uh, by administration, by admi uh, administrator, while deploying the application. So please, okay, do not forget this key. Okay, I will say okay. So you can see your data has been encrypted, and you press on okay. Okay, so you can see like uh, the properties, uh, password property has been you know like stored as a encrypted data. Okay, I will close this. Yes, I will save it. So see. Uh, Okay, now I will say open with text properties text as you can see like data has been stored in the form encrypted. So other thing one more setting we have to do like we have to okay go to the global element okay and like we have to create on secure placeholder property. So I will say create look for the secure placeholder. This is secure property placeholder. Okay. Here again choose that same algorithm. I will say blown blowfish. Okay. And give the you know like you have to provide the runtime property. So simply you can say that runtime dot property. Okay. And you have to provide the name of your uh, properties file. I will say secure test dot property. Okay. This is how you can, you know, like uh, store your data uh, uh, as a uh, encrypt in an encrypted form in a properties file in a secure way. So you can store your sensitive data in the properties file uh, by uh, as a, uh, in a more secure way using the uh, Mule credential vault. So if you want to add more property, again you can do like that. It's like open with Mule property editor. Follow the same steps what we have done. Okay. Okay, uh, this is how you can store your data in secure form. Thanks, thanks for watching a video.